okay good morning so today we are going to discuss about what is cost and what are all the types of cost a cost is the value of money that has been used up to produce something cost is in business we generally speaking cost is the expenses what the business is spending for a say for example for purchasing the raw material we are spending some amount for giving wages or salary to the employees we are spending some amount for the manufacturing or produce production purpose we are spending some amount so all these money what we are spending out of is termed as cost so let us move on to the definition of cost the definition is also the same the expenses what are all the expenses faced by the business all these for the process of what the business is spending several cost for the process of supplying of goods and services to the consumer so for the production of goods and services to the consumer several cost several expenses are made by the producer so that are all will be considered as cost now let us move on to the types of cost what are all the types of cost we will be having we, we are having several seven types of cost in the business activities so opportunity cost and actual cost direct and indirect cost explicit and implicit cost historical and replacement cost fixed cost and variable cost real and prime cost total average and marginal cost so let us discuss one by one what is opportunity cost and actual cost opportunity cost is the cost incurred for losing next best alternative that is we will be having several alternatives out of that we have to pick one alternative that is best suitable for our business purpose say for example we have we are going to buy the raw material for the production purpose so several suppliers are producing the same raw material with the same or similar prices but now it is our decision to choose the best one out of it so this is called as what opportunity cost we are going to select the best one out of different choices we have different choices but the best one is we have to choose for the business then what is actual cost actual cost is the actual amount or incurred as opposed to estimated cost or standard cost here also we will take an example for the business we are constructing a building so we estimated the building construction to be worth as rupees 50 lakhs now at present in the year 2000 say for example 21 we estimated the cost to be 50 lakhs for construction of a particular building so now in 2024 or 2023 it is now increased the estimated cost is 50 lakhs but now our actual cost exceeds the estimated cost as rupees 60 lakhs so this is the cost incurred so an actual amount paid but we estimated is 50 lakhs the actual amount now we are paying for the construction of a particular building is 60 lakhs so this cost is called as actual cost next we will move on to explicit and implicit cost what is this explicit cost explicit cost refers to the money expended to buy or hire resources from outside the organization for the process of production so explicit cost refers to the money expended to buy or hire so the money what we are going to expend to buy or hire and any asset or resources not within the organization but then outside the organization so these cost are termed as explicit cost so then what is implicit cost implicit cost refers to the cost of use of the self owned resource of organization for the self owned we are having some machineries but we are doing but the machine for the machine we are spending some amount for the maintenance purpose so these cost are called as implicit cost 
next we will move on to the direct and indirect cost what is this direct cost direct cost or those cost which are directly accountable to specific cost that is object such as process or product the best example for the direct cost is we are paying wages or salaries to the employees so it is directly directly we are spending some cost for the production purpose we are for the production purpose or we are buying a or we are getting the raw material so for that we are spending some amount so for buying or getting the raw material we are spending an amount for it is considered for the business so this cost is called as direct cost then what is called as indirect cost indirect cost means which do, which does not directly affect the business which does not directly accountable to specific cost example insurance the insurance premium or the maintenance cost or the telephone cost telecom cost or other services so these are called the indirect cost next we will move on to the historical and replacement cost what is this historical cost historical cost refers to the original or actual cost incurred at the time the asset was acquired so during the purchase or during the acquiring of an asset if any cost we incur those cost will be considered as historical cost so during the purchase or during if i say for example we are buying or getting a building so during the acquisition of the particular building we are spending some cost original or actual cost incurred so these cost will be considered as historical cost then what is replacement cost replacement cost is we are having several machines now a particular machine is not working so we are replacing that particular say example machine a b c now machine a is not working properly so we are replacing the machine a with the new machine so the replacement cost is the price that an entity would pay to replace an existing asset uh, if say for example the existing machine a is now the price of machine a is 6 lakhs so now we are replacing it with a new machine the new machine cost 7 lakhs so 1 lakh we are excess we are giving to the buy a new machine so that particular thing is called as replacement cost next we will move on to fixed and variable cost fixed cost is the cost that remains unchanged irrespective of the output level whatever may be the level of output the fixed cost remains fixed so example we are producing in a particular land the land the area is 1 acre we are producing 100 units the land acre is 1 acre only we are producing 200 units the land acre is 1 acre the same lands acre is same so the fixed cost remains fixed the level of output whatever the level of units either we are producing 100 units or 200 units or 300 units the land is the fixed factor so this variable remains fixed whatever the level of output then what is variable cost variable cost varies with the level of output produced these are those cost that vary depending on the company's production volume they rise as production increases and fall as production decreases when the production increases say for example we are producing four labor the labor is a variable cost here okay so we have four labor out of this four labor we are producing 100 units now we have to produce some 200 units so we are getting another four labors so when we are producing 100 units we manage with the existing four labors four employees now we are going to produce some 200 units so for producing 200 units we need another four for the production so the variable cost is varying with the level of output produced then what is real cost and prime cost real cost of a production refers to the physical quantities what are all the physical quantities 
of various factors used in producing commodity these costs are called as real cost real cost of a table composes of a carpenter for the real cost for purchasing a particular table what is the real cost it includes all the cost the carpenter's labor to cubic feet of a wood a dozen of nails a half a bottle of varnish all these are included these cost is called as real cost then what is prime cost prime cost is excluding the fixed cost all the other costs are termed as prime cost the direct cost of commodity in terms of the material and labor involved in its production excluding fixed cost by calculating prime cost of the firm can decide how much should be their selling price to earn profit then what is total cost total cost is the simple formula total cost is equal to all the variable cost and all the fixed cost by adding all the variable cost and all the fixed cost we arrive the total cost the total cost is the cost refers to the total expenses incurred in purchasing or in in reaching a particular level of output for reaching a particular level of output all the total expenses what we are spending these costs are called as total cost that is total cost is includes you of fixed cost and variable cost what is marginal cost marginal cost is the also called as per unit cost of production it is the addition made to the total cost in the uh, by producing one more unit of output for producing each additional unit of output what are all the cost we are spending that cost is considered as marginal cost marginal cost of a unit of output is the total cost of producing n units minus the total cost of producing n minus 1 units of output next one is average cost average cost is the cost which is the total cost divided by the total number of outputs that is ac it is derived by a formula that is average cost is equal to tc that is total cost divided by total units of output quantity produced next one is average fixed cost average fixed cost is also termed as the total fixed cost remind divided by total units of output it is Uh, derived by a formula AFC that is average fixed cost is equal to total fixed cost TFC by quantity Q. Q is referred as the number of units produced. Next one is average variable cost. Average variable cost is the total variable cost divided by quantity produced. Same like fixed cost average variable cost is TVC divided by Q. next one managerial uses of cost analysis to find the most profitable what is what are all the managerial uses of cost analysis why a management should consider the cost and why it should analyze the cost means to find the most profitable rate of operation every business should analyze the cost because to find the best uh, opportunity to find the best alternative out of it and to find most profitable rate of operation every business should adopt cost analysis and the second one to determine in advance the cost of business operations what are all the cost to be spent can be determined in advance so for that the cost analysis is very much important third one for which one means third benefit is to fix the price of a product for fixing the price for a particular product the cost analysis is very much essential then fourth one to decide what sales channel to be used what are all the channels of distribution to be used for this purpose also cost analysis is very much important next one to have clarity about the various cost concepts for analyzing the various cost which one is best out of it or to get a clarity about the various cost concepts which one is essential means the cost analysis is very much essential with that we are ending up thank you for the
patient listening thank you